Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to actually be something a little bit different. I am going to be decluttering my makeup drawer slash drawers. So I hold all of my makeup in an Alex 9 drawer system. I have like probably the first seven drawers full of makeup. It's a lot of makeup. I used to be kind of a hoarder with that. I was really into the beauty community on YouTube. I was buying makeup like crazy before I could even finish using it up. Um, for a while, I was trying to do mostly just makeup on my YouTube, so I was also pur purchasing makeup to like review and stuff. So I have a few makeup declutters already on my channel, but I decided in the new year that I'm going to declutter stuff that I don't need, that's old, that I probably shouldn't even be using anymore because it's so old and expired, um, and then things that I just don't like. So I'm going to be going through and doing a declutter with you. Um, I have already my camera like set up for like a POV so you can kind of see directly into the makeup drawers um but yeah basically we're gonna be decluttering my makeup stash I hope you guys are interested in that and I hope that you enjoy it I love to watch declutter videos no matter what it is it could be decluttering your bathroom sink like under your bathroom sink and I'm gonna watch it I love it so much so I figured you guys might be similar to me and you also enjoy watching declutter videos. So if you wanna see me declutter my makeup collection, then just keep watching. Okay, so I have you guys positioned right here with my Alex 9 drawer. So usually I have like all my perfume and my jewelry and stuff on top of here. And I have my entire makeup throughout all these drawers. So I'll go by, go through them one by one with you guys. But the first drawer I wanted to open up is actually my everyday makeup drawer. I'm gonna to have to actually like move the camera back a little bit, but. This is my everyday makeup drawer and um, this is where I put all of my makeup to do in the mornings for work and things like that. So I'm going to open this one up and show you guys inside here. Okay, I moved you back just a little bit so you could actually see it, but I'm going to take off my... <laughs> I always use a makeup rag. I just have this here because I usually get my hands dirty with all the makeup. But this is like my everyday makeup that I use. Maybe not every single day, but most of the time. So I'm probably not going to get rid of any of this stuff. Um, I have this pretty vulgar mad about it setting powder and um, I'm gonna keep this I have the derma blend banana powder for my under eyes I'm gonna keep that um, my two mascaras that I'm using right now are Tarte Maneater and Mary Kay Fanorama my concealers which this one's almost done this is the Maybelline fit me in the shade 5 ivory it's pretty light so I'm not using it too much I just repurchased this Maybelline fit me in number 10 fair which is my actual perfect shade for under my eyes um i just repurchased my elf camo concealer like literally today um in the shade medium sand which is what i use on blemishes so i use two different concealers for under eyes and for blemishes and then i have a color corrector from mary Kay that i use every single day some brow stuff i have my cella beauty brow cream i love this stuff it's dual ended comes with sun brush and then the creams in the bottom I love this stuff, so definitely not decluttering that. Oh, you know what? Um, this is my e.l.f. Wow Brow brow gel in, I think it's this is medium brown. Oh, yeah. What does that say? Brunette. Um, this is dry, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I kind of forgot that this is actually finished. I did purchase a new brow gel today, but I had this one as like a backup. This is the Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Brow Shaping Gel in brown. So this one's like my backup basically, so I'll be using this for now. Um, I do have a just black eye pencil. This is from, uh, I don't even know what brand this is. I got it in a boxy charm. I'm just using it up. <laughs> I have a Pixi, um, Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pencil in matte nude. I love this for the waterline. Really, really pretty. And I have my Etude House uh, brush eyeliner in brown. What does it say? Oh, dark brown number zero two I love this it's a felt tip it's amazing if you've been looking for a brown liner totally recommend and then I do have this flower beauty also a brow uh, brow tattoo effect stain and soft brown I'm trying to use this a little bit more now that I've been getting into soap brows so I'm trying to figure out if I still want to keep that but I do have a pairs bar of soap up here I just have this it's actually not even any more product in it. It was totally empty. I just filled it with water and I spray it on um, the soap to get it kind of um, good to use. So keeping that. Um, my Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. No, sorry, Barrymore. It's my favorite shade ever. 
Uh, the Luminoso shade is actually too light for me. This one is my perfect shade, so this is Barry Moore. Love it, love it, love it. I've had that for years, and I repurchased it. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, my favorite, uh, and be my highlight, just like the regular uh, shade. The Ulta Beauty Baked Bronzer, which is also my favorite bronzer. Love that. And back here, I'm trying to get myself to use this more often. It's the Essence Satin Touch Blush in, I don't, oh, in Satin Love. Very beautiful um, effect that this gives the skin. I really like this one. So I'm just trying to trying to uh, use it a little more often because I'm not using it that much. And then I have this Kaja Bouncy, um, what are these called? I don't even know what these are called, but it's like a three stack of shadows. Mine is in Chocolate Dahlia. It has this beautiful shimmery shade on the top, a mid-tone shade, and then a chocolate brown on the bottom. My favorite thing ever. I travel with it all the time. So that's everything that's in the top drawer. And then I have like a little mirror that I got. I'm not going to show you the other side because it's a mirror. But I got this on Shop Missy. So, and then I have some clips over here. Just like clips to get my hair out of my face. Same with this one. So... That's everything up here. I'm not going to declutter any of this stuff, though, because I use this pretty much every day. And then I did just get this um, beauty sponge. It's one of those microfiber ones. I can't even remember the brand, but I did just get this, and I like it so far. Let's move on to the next one. This is actually my brushes. I don't think I'm going to declutter any brushes. Let me just take a peek. Okay, actually, I don't use this one at all. It says mineral powder. Yeah, I don't really use that at all. Um, I don't use this one either. This one I like to keep if I'm going to do like cool like painted looks like for Halloween or whatever. Okay, I think that's good. No, I'd like to have a lot of eye brushes just in case I want to do something funky and not wash my brushes. So I think that's going to be it for this, um, this drawer. Okay, so this one has a lot of products. This is like my face product drawer so it has my foundations my primers my blush highlight bronzer all that kind of stuff so this is a lot of stuff um i use this pretty much every time i actually do face makeup i love my charlotte tilbury um hollywood flawless filter i guess i have it in number two light i'm gonna just put this up here for now this wet and wild foundation is actually pretty old in soft beige this is when it first popped off on YouTube probably like more than three years ago. So I think I'm going to get rid of this because it's way too old and I probably shouldn't even be using it anymore. I also am pretty much done with it. Like you could probably see inside of there. There's not a lot left. So I think I am going to declutter that. Um, I have never used this Skin & Co. Truffle Mist. I'll keep this. This is my favorite cover FX primer. For pore blurring, I love this Pixie Glow Mist. Well, back when I used to have dry skin, now I have oily skin, so I haven't used it, but I still love it, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> the ABH Luminous Foundation in 210N, my favorite foundation right now, at least. Um, CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk and Light. I used this in the summertime, and I really liked it, so hopefully I can wear it again this summer and love it. So let me put those guys back down. I think let me put this back here because I'm not going to use this until the Pixie Glow Mist is done. So I'm just going to stick it back here for now. Um, NYX HD Finishing Powder. This actually was a little too dark for me while I was not uh, fake tanning currently in the wintertime. So I'm going to keep this for the summer when I am fake tanned or tanned. The I'm Heart Stamp Blusher. Uh, I don't know what shade this is, but it's like pretty coral. Um, you can see it on the end of this. There you go. It's like a little stamp blush and you stamp it on your face. Super cute. I like this color for spring and summertime. The Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Hydrating Pri oh, Illuminating Primer. I'll keep this. It's pretty small. Um, this Morphe Concealer in white. Um, I just got this to do like really cool, fun eye looks with. So I will keep this. Let's see. Okay, we've got some highlighters. Do Me from Estate. It's like this pinky one. One of the only ones that I have that is like white with a pink shift. I actually used it today on my eyes in pearl. Um, so I will keep that. Ofra um, Pillow Talk highlighter. It's very, very, very pink. I actually also like to use this on, the, on my eyes as eyeshadow. So keeping that. This one is a Ciate London single highlight shade that I got in a BoxyCharm a few years back in Moondust. This is one of my favorite highlights to wear whenever I'm going somewhere fancy. 
because it just makes my skin look glistening and beautiful. So keeping that. I have a few that are gold, which I'm not necessarily that tan anymore. Uh, in college, I was super duper tan because I was doing marching band every day um, for a few hours a day. So I was super dark. Um, first one being Becca Prosecco Pop. This one is a very deep gold color. Very deep. So I don't know if I can fit that anymore. Um, we've got the Essence Pure Nude Sunlighter, which I did use last, uh, when, not winter, last summer. It wasn't too um, dark and Be My Sunlight. So I might keep this one. And then we have Ofra Rodeo Drive. This is also kind of gold, but not quite as dark as that Becca one. I think I'm definitely going to declutter the Becca one because it's a little bit deeper than this one. So I'll put that up here. Um, I'm definitely going to keep the Essence one because I used this last summer and it wasn't that dark. I think I'm going to keep this one too. I also use this for eyeshadow as well. Don't be mad at me if I'm not like super brutal. I've already done a declutter of the, like I pretty much have done a makeup declutter every year for the past three or four years. So most of this stuff has been decluttered as much as I can. If I haven't really used it in the last year, I'm going to probably declutter it though, or if it's old. Let's move on to this little back area. I have the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues. It is actually broken, but this is a beautiful like blush topper shade. It's really gorgeous. Provides a, provides a lot of like luminosity to the cheek, so I'm gonna keep that. This Lisa Frank bronzer. Um, I've never used this. I just kept it for the nostalgia. It's actually like way too orange for me, so I think I'm just gonna declutter it. Sorry. Um, we've got another Laura Geller um, blush. Baked Gelato Vivid Swirl Blush in Plumberry. I use this every winter time. It's just a beautiful plum shade. I don't have a lot of plum blushes, so I'm gonna keep that. Oh, another plum blush that I don't wear as much is Morphe's Spirit. It has a like blue shift to it, so it's kind of hard to wear. It's super glittery, so I'm actually gonna declutter this. I don't find myself re reaching for this like at all. Um, another Morphe item, the Debutante Bronzer. I don't use this either. Um, it's a little too orange for me, so I'm gonna declutter this too. That was easy. Uh, we've got this Tarte blush. This was like a, um, a free Sephora birthday gift. This is in Quirky. I do like this shade because it's very like coral and I love corals for spring and summer when I'm tan. So I think I will keep this one. The Too Faced Chocolate Soleil little bronzer mini. I think this is also a birthday gift. I'm gonna keep this. It honestly is a really good bronzer, and I don't have a lot that aren't shimmery. Um, my favorite one that I use is shimmery, so if I want something matte, I can use this one. The NYX Land of Lollies blush in Lollipop Hop. Um, I never use this, like, ever, so I'm probably just going to declutter it. Okay, cool. That was easy. Um, this Anastasia blush trio in Peachy Love. Oh, it's so pretty. I use this one every spring and summer. I pop it out. It's beautiful. This shade is really, really nice. This one on its own is really nice, but I usually like to mix this with a few of them. This one's like a really good everyday blush too. So I'll keep this. Love it. Okay, we've got some cream stuff back here. Um, I've got the Flower Beauty Blush Balm in Cinnamon. One of my favorites. It's amazing. I'm absolutely keeping this. Um, Cover FX Glitter Drops in Nova. I never use this and I always tell myself I'll use it for like special occasions to put on my collarbones and stuff but I definitely just had a special occasion occasion yesterday I wore an off-the-shoulder dress and I didn't use this because I forgot about it so I'm gonna declutter it because I haven't used them and they've probably been in my collection for three or four years and I feel like cream products aren't good after that so I'm gonna get rid of it um, I, another liquid highlight, the Mary Kay Illuminating Drops in Golden Horizon. I do use these in the spring and summer when I go for a cream look. Really pretty. I will keep this. The Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick in Baked. I actually need to get a new one because I'm pretty much all out and it won't twist up anymore. So I'm going to keep this for now. I've just been actually going in with a brush and just pulling it out, pulling the product out. But I will repurchase this probably. Um, we've got the Wet n Wild Blush Stick in Floral Majority. I actually do like this one. I use it 
I used it a lot last uh, summer, like a ton. So I will keep this to use again this summer. And then I do have a Rare Beauty Mini Blush in Adore. I have not really used this that much, but I do want to try it out. I feel like it's a good spring uh, color because it's very light pink. So I think I'm going to keep it and try it out this spring and see what I think. Okay, so that's pretty much this drawer all done. I like that. Okay, this is like my eye slash brow drawer. Um, I don't really have a lot in here, as you can tell. So I'm trying to like consolidate this drawer if I can. Um, but first, I have the Milani eyeshadow primer. This I'm definitely keeping. This is the, my go-to eyeshadow primer. I'm not going to get rid of that. Okay, I have some liquid shadows. So, okay, let's go through the Wet n Wild ones first. They came in a four-pack for Christmas, I believe, last year. I never used this red, so I'm probably going to get rid of it. This is in Ruby Heist. Probably going to, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. Um, this matte one could be good for a, like, base, but no, I, I don't think I need this. Yeah, it's just whatever. Um, these I actually use quite often. Um, we have Goldilocks in the gold and Cashmere Love in this like almost bronzy color. Um, if they're not dry, I think I'm going to keep them. No, I don't think they're dry. So I think I'll keep both of these. Oh, and then I have this one from Cover FX that I got in a BoxyCharm a few years ago in Amethyst. It's pretty old, so I think I'm just going to get rid of it because I feel uncomfortable using this on my eyes because it's so old. Okay, up here, there's some single shadows. So I rarely use single shadows. I usually just go for either like that trio that I just showed you guys or a palette. So I have a feeling I'm going to get rid of most of these. This is the NYX. Okay, all these were from an advent calendar. A few years ago, same with that Land of Lollies blush. So let's see. We've got this one in Whip Mocha. I mean, it's a beautiful shade, don't get me wrong, but I just never reach for that. We've got Cookie Cutter, which is actually a great setting your lid shade, but I have those in palettes. This one I tried to depot and I couldn't. It's Sweet Tooth. Um, just like a shimmery pink. I think I'm gonna declutter all of them. I never use these. I never go for a single shadow. Um, this one is Pop Goes the Shadow in Mermaid Teal. It is a teal color. It's also really old, so I think I'm going to get rid of it just because it's old. I do like the color, but yeah, I don't need that. Um, Ella Eden. This is Willow. This is a shade that I would never really use that often. I have used it before, but yeah, it's not my favorite. I'm going to declutter this one. My favorite, actually, is this Helios Beauty one in Pinkies Up. I already remember the name of it. It is like this champagne color with a blue shift. Oh my god, it's beautiful on the eyes. This is my favorite thing to use. So I do reach for this one often. So I will keep this one and actually just put it over here. Um, some brow stuff. So I just bought this brow gel today um, in light brown from ColourPop. So I'm going to keep that. Uh, I have this Smoke and Mirrors brow pencil. This is the only brow pencil I have, so I'm just going to keep it. It was from the 99 cent store, but honestly, it's not bad, so I'm just going to keep that. Okay, this Essence brow gel I just used the other day, and I absolutely hate it. It does nothing for your eyebrows. When you first put it on, it's just, like, wet, and then your brows... It doesn't really do anything for your eyebrows. It just wets them. I feel like this is just water, so I'm decluttering this. I hate it. It's so bad. It's only a dollar, but it's not even worth a dollar. Or maybe it's, like, two or three dollars. Um, okay, I have the e.l.f. Waterproof Volume Mascara. This is actually, like, pretty old. I think I got it in the summer. So I'm going to declutter this because you really shouldn't keep mascaras past that long. Also, it's a little dry. Yeah, okay. I didn't mind it, though. I do need to get another uh, waterproof mascara. Actually, wait, never mind. I don't because this is a waterproof one from Mary Kay. <laughs> this is the Lash Love Waterproof. So I have this one unopened, so I will leave it unopened right here. And then I have another Smoke and Mirrors from 99 Cent Store. This is an eyeliner pencil. I never use this. It's a light brown and a dark brown. I'm going to declutter it. I never use it. Okay, we've got some glittery liners from AOA. This is Shop Miss A um, in gold and silver. I love these, but I really do think that they're like over five years old. So, or maybe over three years old at least. So I'm going to get rid of it because, get rid of them because I'm uncomfortable with that around my eyes. Um... We've got an Ico Skinny Liquid Eyeliner in black. I will keep this. I don't think I've ever opened it, so. 
And then I've got this Wet n Wild Black Eyeliner Pencil. Also never been used, so I probably will just keep this for whenever I finish using that black eyeliner that's up there. Um, yeah, I'm not super picky about black eyeliners because I re rarely use them. I have this e.l.f. liquid liner. I just bought this a few months ago. It's a repurchase for me. It's a very, very good uh, liquid liner, so I will be keeping it. Um, these two, this NYX one in Onyx also was in that advent calendar, so it's pretty old. It's like a gray-blue color. Very odd. I never use it, so I'm going to declutter it. And then another one that I received in a boxy charm is the Jante Blue Glittering Starliner in... I don't know what color. Black? It's a glitter liner, basically, but every time I've used it, it irritates my eyes. So I'm going to get rid of it. I don't know why I didn't sooner, because it's kind of a bad sign. Okay, so yeah, see, this drawer can definitely be consolidated. Oh, and I didn't mention, but here's my Mary Kay Eye Pencil Sharpener, just in case you wanted to know what that was. Hello, guys. This is Editing Victoria popping in here to say that this video is actually way too long and I have to split it up into two parts. So I'm going to stop it right here. I'm going to stop the declutter right here and we will continue in the next video. But I hope you guys are enjoying this kind of what turned out to be a declutter series. And yeah, look out for the next one coming soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.